Being a renewable energy developer means always being in pursuit of beneficial avenues to harness and expand, making the selection of the right location as one of the most important decisions that can make or break a wind or solar energy project's viability. Genesis Ray's resource and site suitability assessment module helps in screening, comparing and identifying suitable sites for new projects. Let's consider an example of this site in Gujarat. Now, by simply activating our dynamic weather maps, you can pan around the entire location and get the hourly resource availability over the last 10 years, because the generous and constant availability of harnessable resource is an absolute essential. Moreover, filtering out the best locations, ultimately, also leads to a more efficient decision-making process, reducing our overall dependency on installing and monitoring the ground-based resource estimating instruments, making information available at any and every given location for an extended duration. Our resource module also consolidates this raw information into percentiles of availabilities and can be viewed by activating the chart options, making renewable sense to meteorological numbers. One can compute wind speeds at different elevations, as per the desirable turbine height here. For example, at a height of 120 meters, you can see three sets of information in colors red, yellow and blue, representing the consolidated wind speeds, over the years, at the particular elevation. Apart from providing the users with this information, the module also offers the flexibility of toggling between multiple years, months, days, and even hours within a day. By selecting a particular timeline, you can visualize very closely the wind performance at the selected site and perform in-depth generation forecasts, also assisting in spatial planning procedures, providing visual representations of the wind rose charts showing the directions of speed distribution, shortlisting the dominant direction for installations and harness, Apart from the resource profile, site suitability based on other, technical, economic and social influencing factors, at the given location, also needs to be taken into account. For example, if you wish to assess the natural hazardous risks or the distance to the nearest road network or the soil bearing capacity, one can activate the required layers, and all the site will be normalized and scored, from 1 to 10 based on its harnessable potential. So here, let's see an example of our flood risk layer, showing the estimates of annual occurrence of flood events in a selected area. Now relative scoring of the location, helps us clearly understand to what extent the location is prone to flooding, and scored from 1 to 10 on this scale, where 1 denotes the worst and higher scores assures avoidance and safety from its associated risks. Then again, there might always be sites, which are good across all factors resource, connectivity to transmission network, favorable land use type, but then just in case they fall into areas that are protected by the government, banned for development by the aviation authority, or have been cordoned off by the military, or under strict forest cover conservation mandate, etc. Our tool also offers your project the much needed safeguard against many subjective factors, providing an insight into the exclusion zone where projects may not be feasible whatsoever. With site suitability layers of Genray Explorer, the user is now in the driving seat to conduct desktop surveys, screen and analyze all relevant site suitability factors, like resource availability, slope, proximity to road and transmission network, soil bearing capacity, natural disasters like flood and earthquake risks, and exclusion and protected zones. To know more and access your free trial, click on the link provided.